Hi, this is James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com and tonight I'm coming at you with a quick look at Windows XP running on the HP Mini Note uh, Mini Notebook computer. I did a clean install of Windows XP last night and I have been working with the system since then to just get all my software like Microsoft Office, Outlook, etc. installed. So I want to show, give a brief look at how Windows XP runs on the HP Mini Note. Now first of all, yes I know, this is a special theme. I, I love the Windows XP Zune theme. The black and orange. I just love it. I can't stand the Windows XP theme. So I've installed that. Um, I love the theme. As you can see from the start menu, it just looks so much better. Everything just looks cool. In fact, I'm going to see if I can't zoom you in a little bit so you can actually see this. And I'm going to keep moving stuff around like this so you can see the theme. Uh, anyway, that is uh, the Windows desktop theme. And you probably don't care but so let me show you some brief stuff now I'm gonna I'm using a Bluetooth mouse I wanted to make sure that everything on the computer works in XP it does all devices were installed it was relatively straightforward there are some good instructions on the web for how to to do it since uh, HP has not officially released the mini note with XP installed that means they've not released any official XP drivers for the hardware components but they're all there um, everything works just just like I expected it to you see a little bit of reflection off the screen there's no way for me to avoid that because I've got lighting going on and all kinds of stuff but anyway uh, let's show you just uh, real briefly I've got oh, I actually got Outlook running already as you can see, I'm going to just pop through the windows just to give you an idea for how fast the various windows outlook, which is pretty slow. I like 2007. It's a pretty slow um, program, but it, it's running pretty well. Now, that's all that's running, so let's start something else up. Let's say Microsoft Word. Boom, about two seconds. We're ready to go in Word. Let's try Excel. Boom, there goes Excel. It's ready to go. And now PowerPoint, which is slow. And it's ready to go as well. And of course we can switch. I'm switching now at the taskbar at the bottom. Back and forth among all these windows. They're all open. They're just one at a time I've got up there. Now what I can do is, if you if you prefer, is shrink these all up so we can actually see them all. And that's fine too. So there 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 they are. They're all there. So those are Microsoft Office 2007. Those are pretty slow programs as a rule, but as you can see, they actually run pretty fast. Now let's go to like my computer and have a look at. Uh, see how fast everything happens here. And I'm going to zoom in here since I've got smaller windows going just so you can kind of get a feel for it. I mean I'm, I'm bouncing around here. And as you can see how fast things happen. Of course this has a pretty fast hard drive and I've got two gigabytes of RAM in this one too so don't forget that. But you saw how how quickly or slowly if the case may be in my first video review running Vista and as you can see everything is just going pretty pretty darn quickly I haven't really found anything that doesn't run pretty quickly now let's start up Firefox in case we were going to web browse here I gotta watch my dog. My dog is running around at my feet here and he's getting in my cables. 
I'm afraid he's going to unplug something while I'm recording. Anyway, so here's Firefox. We got uh, JK on the run site. As you can see, I'm scrolling with my mouse scroll wheel. And I'm doing that so as I don't shake the table using the trackpad, quite frankly. And I also was making sure Bluetooth worked. And I had this Bluetooth mouse, which is here, by the way. The uh, stowaway mouse, Bluetooth travel mouse. So that works pretty well. Now let's see if we bump around to another website. I'm just trying to give you a feel for how fast things happen when you jump around. I probably have to log in here. That's probably a bad move. Oh no, that's good. Facebook. Okay. It's pretty cool so far. Now what else can I go? I'm trying to make sure I don't take you someplace that shows stuff you're not supposed to see. And quite frankly, that's pretty much everywhere. Here's my Twitter page. If you want to see Twitter, what all my peeps are doing. Lots of stuff going on there. But as you can see, um, Basically, Firefox is pretty fast. See how fast Windows open and close, just like you expect with XP. Almost instantly. Here's Internet Explorer 7, which, which I'm running here. I don't even know what we'll come up with. I don't use it as a rule. And there it goes. See, it's a little slower than Firefox, but that's not a real surprise. But that's how that goes. Now, I'll take you to Google, since people like to see... I'm typing this in, so excuse me. How fast Google goes. Now let's search for JK on the run. Just to let you see. Do you want to turn autocomplete on? No, I hate those things. And so there we go. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff. Look at this. I do a Google search for JK on the run, and look what shows up because of its popularity. YouTube, JK on the run, HP Mini, UMPC Review. Well, let's go there. And there we are. Hi, this is James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com, and today we have got a very advanced look since it's been re... That's YouTube playing here in Internet Explorer, which is pretty cool. Now, what about other stuff? Let me see. I've got some video to show. People are asking about video. I'm going to show you. This is a Windows Media Player video and I'm going to show you how well works. Well look who that guy is. He's drinking coffee again, always. Mm. Oh, sorry. Coffee break. You see it's good quality video. Hi. VGA. And thank you for resolution. Let's go full screen. Media edition. We've got the same great look but a brand new name. Same old good stuff though. So today we're going to talk I'm going to back up just so you can see the computer. ST5112 Slate Tablet PC. Ah, nice review. Yeah, but you see how fast all everything is happening here. That's that one. I don't know what this one is. This one's probably a lower resolution one for all I know. Oh, it's the old tablet PC demo. Also Windows Media Player, as you can see. Now I've got one here that is uh, MP4, QuickTime, because people are asking that too. It's not a very high resolution uh, video, quite frankly, but it's all I could get my hands on quickly. So this is what I'm going to show you running QuickTime, MP4 video. Hi. This is James Kendrick with JK on the Run Mobile Media Edition, show number 35. Today, are arriving at Mobile Tech Manor, the HTC Advantage. Yes. Now, this audio video synchronization or missynchronization is actually in the video here. I, this was a terrible one to grab. I actually had to apologize when I released this originally because there was a, a technical problem 
encoding that video. Um, I've looked at QuickTime videos a lot on this thing with both uh, Vista and now running XP and it worked fine. So anyway, um, I'm getting close here. I want to I wanna shut this down. I'm just trying to make sure that I get, whoop, telephone. I'm trying to make sure I give you an idea of how long things take. You'll see all different menus. Um, let's start Adobe Reader. It's usually a real slow starter on every system. Uh, actually, it's already up. It's waiting for it's waiting for a document. So, never mind. That was too quick. Um, going through here, I'm trying to see what I got. Anything else I wanted to show? Not really. If I clicked on there, see how fast things happen. I did want to go in and see if I have any programs I can show. There's all kinds of windows, but you see how fast things happen. Everything is just as instantly as you expect in Windows XP, and I have to admit I'm pretty happy with it. Now, one thing that I can't show you because it's something I can't do by myself, and I don't believe we have anybody available. Uh, in my original review, yeah, you know, I lamented that Skype video calls were unusable on the original Vista install. I mean, they were terrible. They were bad from the beginning. Video wouldn't run. It would stop and hang up the system. It would crash Skype. It just didn't work. I'm happy to report that I made a 30-minute Skype video call today to buddy Kevin Tofel in Philly. And while it wasn't the highest super resolute quality video call you might ever make it was very passable and it worked right out of the box with xp i did not do any tweaking nothing i just installed skype called kevin and we were both quite happy because to uh to, to just to give it a try and see nope nobody's online for that i could call right now but anyway, you'll take my word for it, and Kevin will back me up. Skype video calls worked fine, very passable, uh, out of the box under Windows XP. So one quick thing I'll show you. I'll put it in uh, standby. I think it's set to go to standby. I hope I didn't just shut it down. Oh, man, I think I just shut it down. Oh, I just sh shut down Windows, which is a big mistake. I haven't set, since I installed XP, I just realized I haven't set things up where I, if I hit the power button, I always set it to go to standby. I haven't done that yet. So I guess I'll show you how long it takes to boot. Although I timed it earlier today at a minute and 15 seconds, roughly, from the get-go. Here we go. We're, we're actually booting. Unintended boot. You can see the reflections in the black screen that's pretty cool hello can you see me I'm here I guess you can't see me can you can you see me now yeah you can see me now as I'm booting anyway it took a minute and 15 seconds to boot which was a lot faster than Vista I did a, a, a timed a resumption from hibernation it took a minute and 15 seconds, which is still slow, but that's quite frankly, look, we're already up waiting for me to, to hit and log in. There we go, the famous Windows XP. But you see, that's this isn't really that slow. Uh, it's much faster than Vista, of course. But anyway, the, re the slow resumption from hibernation, in my opinion, is because this thing has two gigabytes of memory. So the way hibernation works, it writes a two gig image to disk every time you go into hibernation and when you resume, it reads it back in. And that is not that fast a process. Let's see if I get my mouse going, which it's going. I'm on battery power, by the way, in case you were wondering. I don't have anything plugged in here. It's just on battery power. In fact, let me back up now. Yeah, I've shown you enough of the uh, the close-up screen just show you the unit itself once again I'm having a blast with this unit 
And quite frankly, I'm very happy that I upgraded, upgraded, <laughs> downgraded to Windows XP. And currently, based on my experience, after just one day, my recommendation would be if you're ordering an HP Mini Note after HP releases a configuration option with Windows XP, I would get XP. It's just easier on that via processor as you would expect. And so I just think that it's better. So anyway, this has been James Kendrick with jkontherun.com with a brief look at, not too brief, longer than I thought, <laughs> running Windows XP on the HP Mini Note UMPC or Ultra Portable Notebook computer. So we'll be back again really, really soon. Thanks for tuning in and stopping by Mobile Tech Manor to see my little video. Thanks, everybody. See ya.